With March Madness underway, I thought we'd look at current NBA players who were teammates back in college. Before they reached the league, these pairings completely dominated at the D1 level, giving their schools impressive alumni. In this video, you'll see the progression each player's made since college, and of course find out all the current NBA pros that shared alma maters. With that said, make sure to smash the thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. Now let's begin here. Before Norman Powell won a championship with the Raptors and Zach Levine made his first all-star appearance with the Bulls, the two played at UCLA together. Even though Norm was a junior and Zach was a freshman, Levine actually entered the draft a year before Powell, as the current rap shooting guard would remain at school through until his senior year. With all this firepower, the Bruins made a run at the NCAA title, advancing all the way to the Sweet 16, where they'd fall to coach Billy Donovan's Florida Gators. You can't forget that current Memphis Grizzlies forward Kyle Anderson also played for this team, but of course Norman Levine would go on to have more notable pro careers. Moving on to our next pair of college teammates where two players who entered the NBA last year in Patrick Williams, who was drafted 4th by the Bulls, and Devin Vassell, drafted 11th by the Spurs, both played at Florida State last year. Williams won ACC 6th Man of the Year, and Vassell was 2nd Team All-ACC, and the Seminoles finished 1st in one of college basketball's toughest conferences. Moving on to Michigan, where one of coach John Bayline's best teams in recent memory featured a stacked roster of four future NBAers that have stuck around in the league to this day. In 2013, the Wolverines revolved around the feisty clutch shot creating guard Trey Burke, three-point snipers Tim Hardaway Jr. and Glenn Robinson III, plus a freshman who'd yet to see the limelight in Karis LeVert. Fueled by that electric star power, Michigan advanced through to their sixth ever NCAA title game. However, the front court combo of Montrez Harrell and Gorgie Zhang proved to be too much for the Wolves as Louisville took home the championship that year. But it's how the four former Wolf teammates would progress into NBA pros that makes their journey special. As of 2021, Timmy Hardaway's the third option with the Dallas Mavs, Trey Burke's also a strong rotation player with Dallas, while Karis LeVert has showed flashes of stardom at times in his career, he's now with the Pacers. Unfortunately, Glenn Robinson was recently waived by the Kings and is a free agent, but nonetheless, this 2013 Michigan squad was historically talented. Now for another pair of 2020 draft prospects in point guards Tyrese Maxey, the Philadelphia 76ers 21st overall pick, and Emmanuel Quickly, the New York Knicks 25th overall pick, who were teammates at Kentucky. For late first round picks, the two are having amazing rookie seasons for their NBA teams. Both Maxi and Quickly have cracked the rotation on Eastern Conference playoff teams, so they're looking like draft steals right now. In the present day, prior to getting hurt, Joel Embiid was the MVP frontrunner with the Sixers, while Andrew Wiggins plays a crucial role on the wing next to Stephen Curry in the Bay Area. The man just dropped 40 points in a game with the Dubs, but seven years ago at Kansas, these two were a formidable combination, but failed to live up to expectations to say the absolute least. The Jayhawks were knocked off in the second round to Dwight Powell and the Stanford Cardinals, but this wouldn't impact Joel or Andrew's draft stock as Wiggins was taken first by the Timberwolves and Embiid was taken third by the Sixers. Back to Kentucky. Kentucky? No. More like can't. Yucky. Straight to the final four with ya. What is wrong with you? You have to write down a winner in each round. You can't have an arrow going from round one. Straight, straight to the final four with ya, yeah. yeah. Who didn't make the tournament in 2021, but back in 2010, Kentucky had a ton of pressure on them. Now veteran NBA point guards John Wall and Eric Bledsoe were teammates with the Wildcats, and Cousins was also on the team, but he was recently waived by the Houston Rockets. I'm focusing on current NBA players who were teammates in college, but this stacked team couldn't advance past West Virginia, who took out Wall, Bledsoe, and Cousins in the Elite Eight. Revisiting the University of California, Los Angeles, where over a decade ago, Future NBA All-Stars Russell Westbrook and Kevin Love paired up with the Bruins. Westbrook was a sophomore, Love was a freshman, and these two had a ton of chemistry on and off the court. They were a lethal pick and pop tandem, and were even roommates. You would have never thought that these two would end up combining for 14 NBA All-Star appearances and still be around as relevant players to this day. 
Now on to one of two teams mentioned in this video that went on to win national championships. The Villanova Wildcats captured their second national title in three years back in 2018, largely in part to future NBAers Eric Pascal, Mikhail Bridges, and Dante DiVincenzo. In the game that sealed the title for Villanova, the current Milwaukee Buck and breakout junior at the time, DiVincenzo, raised his draft stock by dropping 31 points, including five triples, drawing the attention of even LeBron James. A few months later, all three Wildcats heard their name called by Adam Silver on draft night, as Bridges was the 10th overall pick, DiVincenzo was the 17th overall pick, and Pascal was the 41st overall pick. Once upon a time, two soon-to-be NBA All-Stars in DeMar DeRozan and Nikola Vucevic were freshmen at UNC together. DeMar was the team's top player and led the Trojans all the way to the round of 32. DeMar would enter the draft and be a top 10 pick, but his fellow freshman Nikola was just a bench player that year and had to stay all the way through to his junior season in order to raise his draft stock. Two years later though, in 2011, Vooch averaged 17 and 10 for USC in his junior year and went on to be the 17th selection in the draft. Speaking of 2011, that was when Cardiac Kemba Walker and Jeremy Lamb fueled the Yukon Huskies to a national championship. The junior Kemba averaged over 23 points per game and proved that he was going to be a clutch player for years to come, hitting some iconic daggers on the biggest stage. Walker would win the Final Four's most outstanding player and went on to be the ninth overall pick by Charlotte in the draft. Meanwhile, that year, the freshman Jeremy Lamb averaged just over 11 points, but he'd be UConn's star in 2012 and then was the 12th pick in his respective draft class. For Louisville in the 2015-16 season, Donovan Mitchell, the freshman, and Damian Lee, the senior, shared the floor with one another. Ultimately, the team didn't qualify for March Madness, which was disappointing for the fifth-year college transfer Damian because NBA scouts weren't able to see him compete on the biggest stage, therefore he went undrafted in 2016, subsequently playing a few years in the G League. Currently in 2021, Lee's earned himself a rotation spot with the Golden State Warriors, and he's even hit a game winner this year. On the other hand, his freshman teammate D. Mitch would lead the Cardinals back into the tournament the year after Lee went undrafted, as Mitchell broke out into a top NBA prospect with his explosiveness and playmaking ability on full display. The Spider would get selected 13th overall by the Utah Jazz and go on to win all-rookie first-team honors, also become a two-time NBA All-Star, and known as one of the best young stars in the game today. Finally, maybe the one you've been waiting for, both are having breakout seasons with their respective NBA teams in 2021, but merely two years ago, RJ Barrett and Zion Williamson were the scariest duo in college basketball. The two averaged an identical 22.6 points per game, with Zion shooting a ridiculous 68% from the field, solidifying himself as the top prospect in 2019, he'd be taken first overall by the Pelicans. The team also had Cam Reddish, who went on to be drafted by the Atlanta Hawks with the 10th overall pick and averaged just under 14 points for the Blue Devils that season. Meanwhile, the Canadian RJ Barrett was taken two picks after Zion by the New York Knicks. Unfortunately, they were upset by Michigan State in the Elite Eight, but regardless of the results, RJ and Zion were an all-time great college duo and 2019 became the first time in Duke history that three players were taken in the top 10 of an NBA draft. I could easily make a part two to this video, so like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this one. You're the best for sticking around and tuning in. As always, this was DFlow. Have a great day, and I'll see you next video.